Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So it seems to be part of our routine really to play in The Sims 2 on Fridays. Or at least it has been for a little while anyway. So I thought today we would start another short Let's Play, one that I was talking about when we were doing Lilith and Angela in college. We're going to play through a couple of videos with Angela and Dustin broke. Got my pleasant view here, it's looking pretty furnished. Got lots of townies going on. It's getting full up and I love to see it. So let's start off by placing a lot. Put a lot down that can be their home. I kind of want to get them to live somewhere in between the broken pleasant house. Don't really have that much space though. Well, I might have to put their house here next to Mimi Landgrab's house. There wasn't really much space in between the pleasant and the brokes. Okay, so Angela is already in the family bin, so I'm gonna go ahead and move her in. So we left off the last Let's Play uh, with Angela and Lilith at university and Dustin came to visit Angela every semester quite a cute little love story actually they both became young adults at the same time they even got engaged so the whole point of this short let's play is just to kind of get them on their feet really we want to get them married maybe have a couple of kids we'll get both of them some jobs maybe try and get them in a good place with all of their jobs I'm thinking maybe something like we'll aim to get them both at like career level five or something. Maybe have like two or three children, something like that. All right, Angela, I'm gonna leave you here for a minute and go and get Dustin. I've also noticed that from playing with The Sims 2 quite a lot, I really need to do something about getting some more teenagers in this town because I only have like two teenagers in another family. Although Brandy has two teenage boys, might have to make a family that's got like five teens in it just to keep that alive. Gotta make sure you've got enough of the same age group in The Sims 2. Okay, Dustin. Do we have a computer? I don't think we do. But you do have a newspaper. So we'll find our own place. We'll leave the two younger brothers with Brandy. I'm sure she'll be fine. Oh look, he's got a want to marry Angela. I'm gonna lock that. All right, so we'll move just you out. I forgot he already had a job. I'm not sure what level he's working at right now. All right, Dustin, time to go to your new home with your beloved Angela Pleasant. Okay, let's just combine those households. They've got a fair bit of money as well. 32,000 simoleons, cute couple. Right, I'm gonna build them a little house and then we'll start working on getting their life together. Okay, so we have a basic house built. I gave them a two-story house because I plan for them to have quite a few children, but we couldn't really afford to do too much. So we're gonna need to start making some real money. So Dustin, why don't you go work out? And then Angela, we couldn't afford a computer, so we'll wait until the, the newspaper arrives and we'll try and get you a job. But I think she'll be able to get a fairly good paying job because she went to college. But they do at least have everything they need to fulfill their needs. Oh, hello, newspaper boy. I was hoping you'd stop by. Right, Angela, whenever you're ready, let's go find you a job. We've got a lot of work to do, you two. We've got to try and afford a car, finish furnishing our house, and then once we can afford to put together a little baby room, then maybe we could try for a baby. Politics. We will go for that job. It's well-paying. And I reckon Angela would be the type to want to make, like, a change. You know, in her little town. You're right there, Dustin. Well, Angela, I think maybe you should go and serve some dinner, seeing as you're the only one who actually knows how to cook. Dustin's got quite a few skills, but nothing in cooking. Okay, this is good. So with their current jobs, they have a combined income of at least a thousand simoleons a day, which is good. Oh, look, it's Mimi. I'll send Angela out to go and say hello. Welcome the neighbors. Anything interesting on the newspaper? That sim over there looked like Elvis. Oh, Angela wants to get a pet. Oh, maybe we could get a dog. That would be quite sweet. Oh, I forgot to get them a phone or a burglar alarm. Oh shit, Carla, what are you thinking? Can I afford either of those things? Well, I can afford this phone, but I guess we're just gonna have to hope that we don't start a fire or get burgled. But I think for now, let's call the adoption service and let's see if we can get ourselves a little dog. Because dogs can get jobs as well, so maybe we could have like another income. Pet adoption service. 
Oh, what about Otis? He looks cute. Although he is like filthy and hostile. <laughs> but he's learned quite a few commands. Let's 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 get Otis. Oh, you don't have enough simoleons to adopt Otis. Oh. We'll adopt a dog tomorrow. Sorry, Angela. Come on, Dustin. I know you don't want to work out, but you're just one skill point away from getting a promotion tomorrow. Oh, we're going to bed. Okay. Maybe we'll have enough time to pump some iron in the morning before work, Dustin. We also need to go to the store at some point and get some new threads. Oh, Angela's got the day off today. Well, that's not good. I wanted her to go to work so she could earn some money. It looks like Dustin also has the day off today. Oh, fuck's sake. I mean, I could sell the computer that we got from uh, Mr. Humble. Because we don't really need it right now. I can't remember how much it costs to adopt a dog, though. So we still might not be able to afford to do it, but we'll see. No, we still can't afford to adopt Otis. Oh, that's okay. In that case, then, we will just go to the shop and buy some clothes. Some new threads for Ange and Dustin. We're going to go to the same clothes boutique that we uh, we had public woohoo in, Dustin. Exciting, I know. Okay, I don't think we can really afford to do too much, so we'll just change our everyday clothes. You know what, I'm kind of thinking something like this for Angela. I kind of, I don't know, we'll put it in my cart and we'll see unless we find something better. There's something about Angela and Dustin that kind of remind me of like Bob and Betty, newbie. Maybe something like that for Dustin? Yeah, that'll do. And then we'll go in here, we'll plan our outfit. Be our everyday outfit. Perfect. All right, guys, we got some new threads. I think we should head on home. Oh, you know what we need? We need a mirror for the bathroom. There we go. And then Dustin, maybe you can practice your speech so you can build up some more charisma. And then Angela, I'm kind of wondering, she says after she just sold that computer. Oh, I can't afford the cheapest computer anyway. I might, like further down the line, I might get Angela into writing novels as a little bit of like extra income. I mean, can we afford even just a simple wedding arch? No. God, everything's so expensive in The Sims 2. Kind of thinking I might just delete a few things because I've got Sims with so much free time. They don't have work for a few days. Not really a lot for them to do. So I might just write a novel now and at least have them working on something. Oh, I forgot we had all this. Uh, should we write maybe a spooky story? Oh yeah, this is gonna be great. All right, Dustin, I'm gonna wake you up because you've gone to bed with really low hygiene and uh, I don't think Angela would really appreciate that. Hello, we're a bit disappointed with Angela's novel. It's currently getting bad reviews and barely selling in paperbacks. Here's the royalty check for 1,000. Okay, nice. That is some good money we've made there. Oh, look, and there's a dog. Oh no, it's a wolf. Okay, sweet. Well, let's go and pick up our book. All right, that's pretty good going, I'd say. Well done, Angela. All right, Dustin, well, your carpool will arrive in about an hour. So you're going to be going to work today. And I'm thinking maybe while he's away, I'll see if Angela can write another novel. And hopefully we can make enough money to buy a wedding arch and adopt a dog. Come on, Dustin, there's your work bus. I don't think I've ever seen a bus before pick someone up for work. All right, Dustin, have a great day. Don't disgrace the family. All right, Angela, how do we feel about writing another novel? Oh, you're just going to leave that there? Okay. Oh, look, all of her wants are about writing now. All right, this time we'll write about family life. Babies, pets, peace, money, and ladybugs. Ah, oh, Dustin's been promoted to all-star. Very nice. Well done, Dustin. Well, I know you're tired, but you kind of, you need two body skills. So I'm going to get you to work out. I think you've got the day off tomorrow, right? Oh, no. No, you're working tomorrow. Oh, well, you know what? I think now we can afford a wedding arch. Okay, we also need to buy... We need to buy a smoke detector. And we need a burglar alarm. Perfect. Okay, novel number two. Done. Hopefully we get some more money. <gasps> Royalty check for 3,000? Oh, Angela... Oh, bless her. She's just unlocked the memory. Sold a great novel. Oh, good for you. Oh, are those some bills we have to pay? We'll pay the bills and then we'll go and accept our, our book delivery. Oh, I'm so proud of you, Angela. Uh-oh, it looks like we have a bit of a bug problem. All right, you two, you've had a crazy couple of days. I think 
I think let's get some sleep. And then tomorrow, when we're back from work, maybe we'll adopt a little dog. And then maybe we'll make a baby after we get married. Tomorrow's going to be a very busy day for both of you. All right, Angela, your bus is going to be here soon, so you better take a quick morning dump. Yep, and there's your car. Have a great day at work, Ange. And you too, Dustin. Have a great day at work, man. Oh, look at Angela's aspira aspiration meter. Platinum. Dustin's not doing too badly. Okay, sweet. Dustin's back. No promotion today, but we didn't think we would because we don't have the skills. But that's fine. We'll work on our body skill right now. Yes! Angela's been promoted to city council member. Good for you, Angela. Oh, we've got a fair bit of money now. Okay, perfect. So, we will call services and adopt a dog. Oh, there he is. Are you sure you want to adopt? Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure I want to adopt Otis. Of course I am. Oh, more bills to pay. Why is the police officer dropping the dog off? Oh, Otis. Well, we're, we're definitely going to end up having a bug problem with this dog. But, you know, we'll, um, we'll feed him a treat and uh, we'll try and change his ways. All right, do we have a newspaper so we can get Otis a little job? There we go. Find pet job for Otis. Oh, five minutes in and he's knocked the trash can over twice. God damn it, Otis. He's definitely a wild thing. I think we should scold for being filthy. We need to try and change his ways. Showbiz. There we go. Right, Otis, you now have a job too. Could pull your weight as well. And he needs to learn to speak. All right, well, I'm thinking what we should do is let's get married. We'll get married. We'll try for a baby. And then that way, that's all, you know, on its way in terms of building a family. And then we'll figure out what Angela needs to do for a promotion. And then we'll get Dustin to try and help Otis learn how to speak. And maybe help him with his messiness. Oh, look at him standing there. I hope we get a cutaway. Oh, this is what it's all about, isn't it? It's true love. So I guess she will be um, Angela Broke now, right? Yeah, Angela Broke. So I think you guys go and relax in bed. We've got to try for a baby. It's our wedding night as well. Oh, I'm so proud of how far you guys have come. Try for a baby. There we go. And we still have quite a bit of money in the bank. We've got five grand, which I think should be enough to build the rest of the upstairs and be build a little baby room. Although I didn't hear the little baby jingle, so I'm thinking maybe she isn't pregnant. God damn it, Otis! Scold for destroying the furniture. Oh, Otis, he's like a little lovable rogue, isn't he? And then we'll teach command speak. So how are Otis, Otis's behaviours now? Okay, we've helped him become less destructive. He's still very filthy, though. So maybe if we just keep bathing him and stuff, that might help. Oh, I just realised we need to buy some pet stuff now for, for Otis. Oh, and also I can put my kitchen counters back. So we'll get a little dog bowl. Maybe a chew toy. And we'll get him a dog bed as well. Okay, perfect. Yes! The dog has learned how to speak. Right, well, I think before we do anything else, we should try for a baby again. Because I would ideally like to end this episode with... Well, end this episode in the knowledge that Angela is pregnant. Baby music? Any baby music? Okay, perfect! So probably at some point tomorrow, Angela's going to find out she's pregnant. And I imagine when she goes on maternity leave, she'll probably just work on writing a novel. Oh, look at you, Otis, being good, staying in your bed. What a good dog. See? You can behave. Well, on that note, I think I'm going to end this video here. I think we've achieved a lot. We've moved in together, got married, had promotions, got a dog. We've got a baby on the way. I imagine in the next episode, we'll be working on putting our baby room together. Maybe the dog will even get a promotion. We'll probably write another novel. So yeah gonna end this episode here thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did please like and subscribe you know i love it when you do that and i'll see you in the next video bye bye